Alrighty guys, it's that time of year again. It's almost springtime. Time for some routine gear maintenance. And I'm going to show you how to waterproof a tarp and two tents for less than $20. Even the notorious Trekker 2.2 is watertight as a frog's ass as I speak. Last night, it rained all night and most of the day in both the tarp my 1A tent and my 2.2 trekking tent, they're all nice and dry. Now, let me show you how I did that. Well, let's go do it. Okay. Now you see all that? That looks good. This all along the whole top, it looks good. All up to the corner looks good now on the edging seam as you can see the tape is starting to give way potential leak along there you come here to the corner you see lots of air gaps you can see this tape is completely given away look at that right there completely given away so that means your corner is probably going to leak right so you got to trim all this back and then we'll seal it back up See this up here, how it's separated? Got to reseal that. And this one over here, it doesn't even have any kind of seam sealing tape. It just has a seam like it's a pair of damn blue jeans or a jacket. This will definitely have to be seamed on both sides. Yeah, you see that right there? See how the tape separates? That's why your tent leaks. See how that tape is separating? That's why your tent leaks. See how the tapes come loose in the corner? That's why the corners leak. Yep, that's why your corner leaks. See that? And same with that. The sealing tape has separated. Moisture gets in. End of story. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Okay, so you take a good sharp scissors and be extremely careful and if you don't think you can do it get an adult to do it for you and for God's sakes don't run with a pair of scissors right tent everywhere that there's a taped seam all right guys so here I am in the 1822 laboratory and let me show you what I used to make my solution to seal my tent up first and foremost I don't have it with me I had some rubbing alcohol and I poured 70% rubbing alcohol in an in old can with a brush like this dipped it in there and I went across all my seams after I trimmed up all the loose ends. So I got this good into the thread and whatnot in the seam area with the alcohol, got it all nice and clean, right? And then I took some silicone. It's very important to use 100% clear silicone. I'll put a little note in here somewhere about what it exactly is because it's most important that you get the right stuff. Right. Mineral spirits. Now, of course, you don't need a gallon of mineral spirits. Probably the smallest one you'll be able to buy is a pint, maybe a quart. But it's always good to have a little mineral spirits around. You never know what you might need it for. All right. A mixing stick. And what I did, and we'll get to the mix right now before I forget. This is not necessarily in order. You know I never speak with a script. So what I did was I put probably... We'll say that much silicone in there and then that much mineral spirits, all right? What was the formula to that? Probably about 40% silicone and 60% mineral spirits and you sit there and you just work it and work it and work it and work it for a while, right? And then when you finally get it all nice and mixed up, it should be about like really thick pancake batter, cake batter, something similar to that, right? And so then, 
I did my tarp and my 1A tent with a little brush like this. And of course I had a rubber glove on this hand and I kept this hand clean. But then you just dip it in there and you paint it and paint it and paint it and you just paint it and work it in your seams real good. On my poncho and my River Country Products tarp, and my River Country Products 2.2 tent, I used a one inch chip brush. Same routine, dipped it in there, and just spread it in there, worked it in real good. And that's what I did, and that's how I did it under $20. Something like this is gonna cost you between nine and $11, unless you live in a crazy place. Um, a quart or a pint of this, I don't know, we get it by the gallons, I'm assuming it's going to be in the 8 to $11 range, and then a 50 cent chip brush, you know, a 5 for $2 artist brush, I have no idea what a box of these popsicle sticks cost, we use them all the time, and, and you could use a stick if you wanted to go full bushcraft, right, carve your own bowl too while you're at it, schmuck, but let me go over this again real quick, all right, in case I lost you there somewhere. Clean your seams with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Mix up 100% silicone with some mineral spirits, approximately at a 60-40% solution. 40% silicone, 60% mineral spirits. Thin it down to where you like it so you can work with it. Take your brush, dip it in there, do all your seams, and if you're doing tents, make sure you do your corners really good. Like, sit there and just dab it in and dab it in. And on the top of the tent where the, uh, for lack of a better word, the handles go <laughs> on your tent, make sure where that's sewn into your tent to dab that in real good because that's a place that likes to separate. You know, do, your, do the inside of your tent and do the outside of your tent and then spray it with some kind of spray silicone, camp fabric treatment, whatever, whatever, whatever your hardware store has. This the past time I did it, I was using Kiwi. Whatever your store has, use that. If you do it like that, you follow my directions, make sure that uh, the loose tape is uh, eliminated, the seams are clean, Put the silicone on there, let it dry overnight, and so the stuff doesn't stick to the sidewalls of the inside of your tent, dust it with some cornstarch, turn the tent right side back out, do the outside, then spray it down, and you should be good to go. Do that as needed. You might only need to do it once in a while, you might need to do it every year, I don't know, it depends on how much you use your gear, right? But now. Let's go into the field for a full demonstration on how I did this.
raining all night and half the day as you can see even in the corners my Trekker 2.2 is bone dry and watertight as a frog's ass okay let's go to the next one alrighty and as you can see in the 1a same routine nice and dry even in the corners My tarp is repelling water like water shedding off a duck's back. And you probably can't really see it under here, but trust me, it's nice and dry. And one more little tidbit here. This is my rain fly. It is a river country poncho. I got three grommets up here. These two are for the 2.2, obviously. The one in the middle is for my 1A. Same routine here on the back. One hole is for the 2.2 and the other hole is for my 1A. A rain fly, guys. You've heard me talk about them before. Very, very important. All right, guys, and one more thing. If your side wall of your tent is not standing up, your tent's probably going to leak. Let me show you. You set your tent up like that, what happens is the water coagulates right down there. And I don't care how waterproof that fabric is, it will leak. Eventually it will seep through. Nothing you can do about it. That's science. which is why I always stake that up. And not only do I get good ventilation, when I got it just right, you can kind of peek out through there and see what's outside your tent. Added bonus. All right guys, so uh, what do you think about that? That is how you seam seal your tent on the cheap. And it's something you should do anywhere from every year to every other year, every three years, whatever, as needed very important and if you don't want to do it i don't really give a shit you're the one that's going to sit there and sleep in a wet sleeping bag not me so like i said for less than twenty dollars and a little bit of uh, elbow grease you can waterproof your gear hope you enjoyed it catch you on the next one <laughs>